Did you know that ChatGPT 5 can now access your calendar, your drive, and your email to help you better plan out your day and be able to reach your goals? Or maybe you didn't realize that with ChatGPT 5 now, you can have it begin to automate your work and you can schedule it out so that it happens without you having to do anything. Well, those two things are absolutely nothing because by the end of this video, you're gonna learn about seven insane use cases for ChatGPT 5 that didn't exist just a few days ago. Because this is one of the biggest updates that I've ever seen with AI and you're probably missing out on a lot of these things. Now the first use case I wanted to show off for you, and this is really going to blow your mind, is we could come over here and say create a 3D Minecraft clone with full functionality including inventory, crafting, breaking, placing blocks, mobs, etc. It thought for seven seconds and then it went through and actually coded this out inside of Canvas and we're going to be able to test this out in a single HTML file. And as we can see right here, it told us I made you a playable Minecraft style prototype that you can run right here. It has and it walks through every everything that it has. It says open the canvas, click the game to lock the mouse, and then you can actually go ahead and start playing. And by the way, not only can you do this in ChatGPT 5, if you come over here to their other models like GPT Thinking and GPT 5 Pro, this one doesn't actually support Canvas, but these two are also absolutely amazing at being able to code things. Now here's an example of what this actually looks like once it's generated. This is absolutely insane. It looks exactly like Minecraft, and I cannot believe that it did this, literally, with just one prompt. Now to show off use case number two, we need to come in here, come into settings, and we need to make sure that we have some connectors actually enabled. Right now, we could see that I have my Google Drive partially synced, and we could see which email this is actually set up with. The next thing that I need to do is set up my Gmail, and I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. You're literally just gonna come over here, you're going to give this access and then you could choose which Gmail account you want this to actually be set up to. In addition to that, we could come over here and we can also set up my calendar right now. So we're going to click on calendar, we're going to click connect, connect to Google Calendar, and then also we just have to fill in the security code right here and then choose the Gmail that we actually want to connect it to. And again, here's what that actually looked like. We just connect to this account right here, click on continue, and this is going to go ahead and say that this is now connected. Okay, so now that I've given it access to everything, I am going to use a prompt like this. I'm gonna come in here and I am also going to click on connected apps so that we could see that my different apps are actually connected right here. We could come in and connect more. And we could see that these are actually here. So that's going to be good. So I put in the prompt right here. I need you to be a productivity expert that can use my Google Calendar, Gmail, and Google Drive to help me determine how I should best be spending my time. Right now I have a blank slate on my calendar tomorrow. Please keep asking me questions until you have all the information that you need to give me the best schedule possible. My goals and priorities follow this order. One, make sure my fiance doesn't leave me. We've spent a lot of time together lately, so we should be good here. Two, get this YouTube video upload. Three, put out one piece of content across these platforms. Update my school community on the latest changes in AI. Brainstorm 10 more ideas and use cases for ChatGPT 5. Six, make sure my health is on point. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, give this to ChatGPT, and now what this is going to do, before it starts pulling from my calendar, Gmail, and Drive, wants to clarify a few things. So I have to go through answer these things but as you can see here this is now me talking with the smartest person I've ever met them having full insight into what my goals are and what I'm trying to do and what my existing calendar Gmail and Google Drive look like so they can pay attention to anything that I might have missed here so this went through asked me a handful of questions that again it needs context into and then I went through I answered all these and then I'm going to give this back to ChatGPT 5 and this is going to tell me exactly what I need to do after I do a few more things. Now I can see right here that it asked me a few different things about my calendars. And what I'm gonna say is I want you to look at my calendar and infer all of this about me. Okay, so now what this has done, based on my normal schedule, this went through and optimized my schedule for tomorrow. So I have my morning and health routine, 7.30 wake up. That's about the time that I wake up. It has me editing YouTube videos. It has me taking a break, leg day, healthy meal, school community break, this, healthy meal again, YouTube upload, light admin and emails. And then it also has a few other things that we have added here. Now, once this is done, I could ask this to upload this to my calendar and boom, it'll go through 
and make sure it's all added. Now this next use case I wanted to show off for you is how you can actually use this to begin to start automating a lot of your work, but it is going to force you to make a slight change to how you actually work. So what you could do is begin to set up prompts like this. Can you search my Google Drive for this video right here? I want you to suggest any edits and changes that I should make to the script based on what we currently have in there. In addition to that, I want you to please generate a thumbnail image for it. So this is what I'm gonna have to do because my team probably went through and created this script. I'm gonna have to go through and suggest any edits to it and then add those edits in. And then I'm gonna have to come up with a thumbnail idea or a thumbnail concept based on that. But now I could get ChatGPT5 to pretty much automate this. So we could see that this went through. This actually found this script right here. This went through and actually gave me eight different suggestions that I can add to this right here. And then it gave me a thumbnail concept. And now it's actually going through and creating that thumbnail. Now, a few things that I will have to change and specify is I need to make sure that this actually creates this in the right size for a YouTube thumbnail. So I'm going to have to go, have to go back to my prompt and I'm going to have to adjust that. And I also also want to make sure that I adjust this so this goes through and actually adds these changes once I actually tell it hey this is good right here but honestly this is even just great to have as a mock-up of what I could have my actual thumbnail look like now as you can see it's creating two different versions here so what this just did the regular ChatGPT wasn't able to do was it accessed my drive, it suggested edits based on what's in there, and then it took another action. This is where we're going to begin to get agentic with ChatGPT5. And the last thing that I'm gonna show you once this is done is really going to be what's going to blow your mind. So this is done right here. And now what we can actually do is we can schedule this task out. In order to do that, we're just gonna come down here and say, perfect, please schedule this task out to happen at 9 a.m. daily. So a few things, again, that will have to change. We have to change this so that this is going to come through and this is actually going to generate the right size thumbnail. In addition to that, we want it to know that once we actually approve these changes, it can go ahead and actually add them. And the last change that you're gonna to wanna to make, this really comes to your workflow, is what you wanna do is begin ending whatever files you want ChatGPT to access with the date for that day. And then what you're gonna change about the prompt is you're gonna say, can you please search my Google Drive for my YouTube script that has today's date in the title. And then what that is going to do is actually allow this to be able to schedule things out. And we could see right here that we could come through here, change this prompt right here, and boom, this task will now be scheduled out and then be automated. What you should be doing is going through everything that you're currently doing manually and beginning to set them up so the ChatGPT5 can now begin to handle them since it's agentic. Now, before I get into the four other use cases that I want to share with you, and they're only going to keep getting crazier and crazier, like how you could get GPT-5 to literally make you go viral on social media, I wanted to make sure you understood how important it is that you're actually prompting ChatGPT-5 the right way. Because if it feels like GPT-5 is giving you mediocre or inconsistent results, it's not ChatGPT. Instead, it's the way that you're talking to it. And that's exactly why I partnered with today's video sponsor, HubSpot, to bring you a free seven-day guide to becoming an expert at prompting with ChatGPT. This guide is literally going to take you from a beginner to an expert in only seven days. And you can access it right now at the pinned comment below for free. My favorite part about it is how it's gonna walk you through building prompts that are modular but personalized so that you can build a reusable prompt library to help you save hours and begin to automate your work. It's packed with real world examples and before and after comparisons that are going to blow your mind. So what are you waiting for? Go to that pinned comment below and download it right now for free. Now, the next use case that I wanted to show off here is how good GPT-5 is at creative writing and being able to copy somebody else's tone, their outlines, or behaviors. For example, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna say, I need you to create an outline for me based on this YouTuber's video, style, structure, and outline. It should be something that I can feed back into you to create videos in his exact style once I give you the correct title. Now, 
we're gonna come over here, we're just going to fix these spelling mistakes quick, and then we're going to actually give the transcript right here. Now what I just did was I just took the transcript from one of my favorite YouTubers, and what this is going to do is now begin to understand that, it is going to copy that, and it is going to give us an outline that we can then use right here for future videos. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say great, sounds like you understood this correctly please create a video for this title now seven mind-blowing things you didn't know ChatGPT 5 can do and then I'm gonna put ChatGPT tutorial and what this is going to do is spit out a script in this exact thing so as we can see right here it has a hook and a big promise immediate key changes, gives us a UI setting and quick tour, and then goes through seven mind-blowing things that this can do. And this actually gives us the exact prompts that we can use right here. And guess what? If you recognize this, this is exactly how I created my video that I uploaded yesterday that broke ChatGPT to you. And the reason that it made it like this is because I've trained this based on one of my past videos and it knew exactly what to do here and guess what if you are a new youtuber you could use this or if you're trying to write a newsletter in a certain tone you could use this emails in a certain turn you could use this because chat gpt5 just got a massive upgrade to how it actually understands being creative and how good it is at mimicking other people's tones, structures, and voice. Now, the next use case I wanted to show off here is how good ChatGPT is at now optimizing websites. So I'm gonna come over here and say, I need you to be an expert at conversion rate optimization, landing page optimizations, and crafting offers that somebody can sell to their audience. Please look at this website, help improve their copy, layout, structure, offerings, and anything else that you see fit. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to search the web for this website, and and this is going to come through and tell us exactly how we can actually optimize this to be able to increase sales. So it goes through a first impression right here and we could see that it actually cites all of these different sources right here. We could see landing page improvements. It gives five different things here. It has an offer and strategy structuring change and we could see that it gave three things right here. Copy and messaging tweaks and then summary table and then this can go through and actually wireframe out the landing page. It can write the revised copy and do all of this. So I'm gonna say yes, please do all of this so that I can see exactly what to put. And this is really one of the crazy things about GPT-5 is how smart it is at all of these different things. Gone are the days of you having to go through a bunch of different models on ChatGPT when instead you literally just come in here and you can get exactly what you need. You can copy and paste all this. You can put this into your website and this literally just went through and developed the exact website. I'm gonna say yes, please create a wireframe that follows this. But as we could see, this literally went through and gave us exactly what the website should look like. And we could even ask this if there are certain things that we should test in here or things like that. But as you can see right now, this is literally going through and going to create the wireframe. This is what it looks like when it's doing this. And I have to be honest, I am pretty mind blown with how good this actually is. I do see one spelling mistake right here with mortgages. It looks like it might've just messed up because it was changing lines here, but this is incredible. Obviously this isn't Nick here. He'll have to put his photo, but the detail and how good this is at actually laying out what the website should look like based on the suggestions that it gave. In fact, this is the exact headline is pretty insane. And we could see that this goes through and does this. And it also gave us another one if we wanted to have a few different ways at how we could actually have this look and how actually we could have this laid out. And again, if we compare that to this over here, it's light years better. Now for use case number six, before we get into my favorite use case that I've seen anybody do, it's actually not gonna be a use case that I've done because it requires actually going viral on social media with an output that you got from GPT-5. So obviously it had to be somebody that had early access to GPT-5 that was able to do this because it's only been out for like 24 hours. But check this out. If we come over here, like I was alluding to earlier, there's also GPT-5 thinking and this GPT-5 Pro. So I wanted to actually go through and 
tell you when you should actually be using these. And in order to do this, I asked ChatGPT the best times to use these. So GPT-5 thinking basically just spends extra time thinking. So it has more inference steps to provide deeper, more accurate answers. I would use this instead of using deep research now with ChatGPT because this will just go straight ahead and give you a good answer. In addition to that, this GPT-5 Pro, which is the best for demanding and multitask tools. For example, you're going to want to use this if you're doing something that requires a lot of reasoning capacity and access to ChatGPT's full set of tools. For example, if you want to do code execution, image generation, file analysis, but it is really, really big or it is really, really long, like something with health and science, coding, or legal reasoning, you're going to want to use GPT-5 Pro. For everything else, it's probably going to be overkill and you could just use their flagship model. Okay, now this brings me to the final and last use case for GPT-5, and this is something I would strongly suggest that you do. Again, RPN had early access to this tool, which is why he was able to do this, and he was pretty mind blown by this. So if we come over here, we could see that he asked GPT-5 to write a threads post that is guaranteed to go viral. This is the post that it gave right here. America feels like a subscription service that keeps raising the price and removing the features. It's short and punchy, it's tapping into shared cultural mood, and it's a little bit cheeky or self-aware. And if we look at the results, this is actually his most viral threads post ever. This right here was created by AI, not by him, and it was the most viral thing that he's ever done. Now, I want you to think about this, think about how you could take this and also go viral, improve your product, improve your life, and ultimately start using ChatGPT 5 to really take advantage of this powerful technology we have. Now, if you like this video, I'd strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through seven free AI tools that I personally can't live without. If you're interested, I'll see you over there.